What's going on everyone? It's your boy ZMC back again with another Madden franchise video. Uh, stick and tuning with the uh, roster breakdown videos. Um, I'm going to break down the roster here for Madden 2007 uh, on the PS3 here in this one. So this should be uh, um, interesting um, rosters here on this one. Uh, some guys may retire by now and we got some new rookies coming in who are interesting. Uh, so let's go see who's here in the uh, Madden 2007 roster breakdown. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, roster breakdowns. Uh, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Uh, be a friend, tell a friend, make sure you share the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos and content. Uh, to all, all of my returning viewers, welcome back. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hope you guys continue to come back and watch more videos. With that being said, guys, let's get it going here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start off with the. Let's see what the like I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna start off with the Bears here. Just kind of go down the uh, the roster here. They still got Rex Grossman, a quarterback. Uh, they got Cedric Benson now after his uh, rookie season. He's an 84 overall. RIP to Cedric. Uh, still got Marty Booker as their key receiver. Uh, let's see, and they have Bernard Berrien, who's two years in now. Uh, Desmond Clark. And then defensively, uh, let's see here. I'm not even going to try to, I'm not going to butcher his name. Uh, Alex Brown. Still got uh, Tommy Harris and Ted Washington at defensive tackle. Brian Erlacher is a 98 overall in this game. Lance Briggs is a 91. Uh, Nathan Vasher, 90 overall in this game. And Charles Tillman. And then uh, we got a rookie, Devin Hester. When he first entered the league, um, he was a cornerback before he became a receiver. Uh, but I think he was still a, uh, a return man. So... Uh, we'll, we'll have to see how he does here as a corner for the Bears here. And then they also have Mike Brown and Michael Green was their free safety. So I'll, have to, I'll probably move him in the depth chart um, for them. That's going to be the Bears moving on to the Bengals. Carson Palmer's in 95 overall in this game. Uh... Rudy Johnson's back over here. I know initially I had him in on the Patriots, but he's back over here in Cincinnati. I'll show you guys why when I get to the Patriots. And, of course, still have veteran Corey Dillon. Chad Johnson's a 97 overall now. And they got TJ Hushmanzada, Peter Warwick, uh, Chris Henry now after a rookie season. He's an 80 overall. RIP to Chris. Let's see who else is on this. Bengals team defensively. Still got uh, Justin Smith. Takeo Spikes. Eight years in the league now. 95 overall still. Brian Simmons starting to regress a little bit now. He's from a high 90 to a low 80. Corey James, and then they got a rookie, Jonathan Joseph, at uh, corner. Let's see, there's the, I think that's their, so that's the Bengals. Not too bad. A couple new faces over there. Over here in Buffalo, still got Drew Bledsoe, 13 years in the league now, still a high 80 overall. Uh, they got the tandem of Willis McGahee and Travis Henry in the backfield. Was McGee's now with a 90 overall, so that's pretty solid. Receiving, uh, still have their uh, core receivers, Eric Moulds, Lee Evans. Uh, Peerless Price is starting to regress a little bit now. Went from a uh, you know, mid-high 80 to now a uh, high 70. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see who else here we got here. Defensively. 
So I got Aaron Schobel. He's a 91 overall in this game now. So I got Pat Williams and Sam Adams in the middle there. 95 and 88 respectively. Let's see who the linebackers looking like here. Let's see. Still got Antoine Winfield's in 92. Nate Clements in 89. Terrence McGee. Got a rookie Dante Whitner, a.k.a. Dante Hittner, because he used to hit so hard. Uh, he's an 82 overall coming in initially as a rookie, so that's pretty good. Moving on to the Broncos. So got Brian Greasy in the league. Uh, also have a rookie, Jay Cutler. Uh, Ruben Drones is an 89 now. And so they got Tatum Bell as well. Uh, still got Rod Smith, still solid 90 overall. Got a rookie, Brandon Marshall, at a 74. Let's see. Trevor Price is still a high, uh, still a uh, solid 92 overall in this game. Uh, Courtney Brown's backing him up. We've got a rookie, Elvis Dumerville. <coughs> DJ Williams, two years in now, he's a 92 overall, the left outside linebacker. Still got Al Wilson, he's a 95. Ian Gold's a 91. Then their corners, got Delta O'Neill, is an 89 now. Dominic Foxworth, after his uh, rookie season, now he's an 85. This is way before he, before, before he became an uh, analyst for the NFL Network as well. And they have Nick Ferguson at the strong safety. So the Browns uh, still have Kelly Holcomb, Charlie Fry is an 80 in this game. Uh, Derek Anderson is a 66 after both of their rookie seasons. It looks like Charlie Fry uh, performed better. I, depending on how I feel, I may start Charlie Fry instead of Kelly Holcomb, but we'll see. Only because he has a higher overall, but we'll see. Still got William Green at running back. Got a rookie, Jerome Harrison. I think Lee Suggs is in the league, too. I think he's on a different team right now, but I know he's still in the league right now. Uh, Braylon Edwards, after his rookie season, is in 84. Andre Davis, Dennis Northcutt, Kevin Johnson. Uh, got Josh Cribbs as well. What, I don't know why, I mean, I guess I thought he was a pretty solid receiver when he was with the Browns, but he wasn't like a, he wasn't highly rated in Madden. He's at 59 right now and Madden 07, so we'll see if that changes. Uh, I got Kellen Winslow and uh, Steve Hyde in the tight end before Kellen decided to do what he did in real life. Still got Orpheus Roy and Kennard Lang at the left. Defensive end, Alvin McKinley. Depending on how I feel, I might put one of the, I put either Orpheus Roy or Kennard Lang on the right side, so we'll see. So got Gerard Warren in the middle. Got a rookie, Cameron Wembley. He's an 81 initially, right? Yeah, 81. Andre Davis, still a solid middle linebacker, is a 91. Uh, got a rookie, Dequel Jackson. For the corners, got Anthony Henry, Dan McCutcheon, Lee Bodden, Antonio Perkins. <clears throat> and then they had Bill, I'm sorry, not Bill Russell, Brian Russell, and have Robert Griffith still, 12 years in the league now. I may move uh, Robert Griffith into maybe strong safety. Well, I mean, they have Rodney Poole, but I mean, he's not, not as uh, highly rated as Robert Griffith. I also had Sean Jones and Earl Little now. He's a veteran at this point, eight years in. He's a 77. Moving on to the Bucks. We got Brad Johnson still at the helm, a quarterback. 
Cardinal Cadillac Williams is a 90 after his rookie season, so that's pretty good. Still got Michael Pittman as well. Still got their core receivers, Keyshawn Johnson, Keenan McCardell, Joe Jervicious, Michael Clayton. And then let's see what they got defensively. Whoops. It's got Greg Spires, Simeon Rice, and now he's at 95. Solid veteran now. They still got Anthony McFarland and Warren Sapp as well, 92 and 86 respectively. Let's see what this linebacker's looking like. We've got Shelton Corals at 89. Derek Brooks is at 97, 11 years in now. Uh, corners consist of Rondé Barber, nine-year veteran at 94 overall. Brian Kelly. Got a rookie, Allen Zemaitis. How you say that? So I got a veteran, uh, John Lynch at the free, uh, full safety, free safety. I don't know why I get confused, but it's a free safety position. Um, he's a 94 overall, and Dwight Smith is an 87. Dwight Smith actually came out in a video and tried to say that the NFL was rigged, that Vegas like uh, bets on the games, and he did it like after the Super Bowl that they went to. Uh, I think it was the 2003-2004 season, yeah. So that was that was interesting. He came out and spoke about that. And then I may or may not put uh, Dwight maybe at the strong safety or John at the strong safety. We'll see, just to kind of. Even things out with two of them. Uh, they're both used. We're going on to the Cardinals now. Jake Plummer's a nine year vet at 90 overall. So got Josh McCown. And like I said, there are some new faces in the league. This was the season uh, where USC, the Trojans, and Matt Leiner and Reggie Bush took on the Texas Longhorns and uh, Vince Young. Um, so Matt Liner and Vince Young enter the league, and so did Reggie Bush uh, this season, this year. So the Cardinals do have all three of these quarterbacks, Jake Plummer, Josh McCown, and Matt Liner. Matt Liner didn't, advance, didn't last very long in the league, though, unfortunately. Uh, I did put Thomas Jones back on the Cardinals, because that's where he was initially in Madden 2003. Also have Marcel Ship as well, starting to regress a little bit now. So they got solid receivers, Larry John, uh, wow, Larry Fitzgerald, Anquan Bolden, 93 and 92 respectively. David Boston starting to regress a little bit. Seven years in is an 81. Got a rookie Leonard Pope at tight end. And I did put Kyle Vandenbosch over here in Arizona as well, because that's where he was initially. Uh, Bertrand Berry, he's a 92. Darnell Dockett, 86 in this game. Carlos Dansby is a 91. Pretty solid. It's pretty not a pretty solid team. A pretty solid Cardinals team. Entro Roll after his rookie season is an 83 overall. And let's see, Adrian Wilson now is a 93. So you're not a, not a bad Cardinals team. Not a bad Cardinals team. Pretty solid. What they have over there. Moving on to the Chargers, they got Drew Brees, of course. And Phillip Rivers. Like I said, I may or may not move Phillip around depending on who needs a quarterback. Uh, so they got uh, LaDainian Tomlinson at 97. Uh, Michael Turner and Darren Sproles. Uh, receiving core consists of Rashea Caldwell, Eric Parker, uh, Vincent Jackson, RIP. Um, after his rookie season now, was a 77. I uh, also have Tim Dwight as well. Antonio Gates is at 99, part of the 99 club in this game. So, pretty stud tight end. Uh, le the defensive end here left on the left side. Marcellus Wiley has regressed a little bit now. He's an 80 overall. Uh, Louis Castillo is an 82 after his rookie season. Uh, Jamal Williams is at 95. 
Sean Merriman, Adler's rookie season is a 91, so pretty solid outside linebacker. Junior Seiya, RIP, uh, is an 86 in this game. And there's Steve Foley's an 86. There's Sean Phillips as well there. Uh, corners in the secondary here. They got Quentin Jammer, Drayton Florence, Jamar Fletcher. Got a rookie, Antonio Cromartie. And then, of course, uh, they got Rodney Harrison, 12 year vet, and 94 overall in this game. Moving on to the Chiefs in Kansas City. Uh, Trent Green, of course, at the quarterback, 91 overall in this game. Uh, Larry Johnson's a 96 now, three years in. Uh, Priest Holmes starting to regress a little bit now, nine years in. He's an 87, but still pretty solid nonetheless. Uh, uh, receivers, Eddie Kennison, Johnny Morton, Simi Parker, and of course, Dante Hall. Dangerous kick returner there. So now Dante Hall and Devin Hester are in the league now. So we'll see who does better uh, kicking, kick returning, and punt returning. That would be interesting. They're both obviously in different conferences too. AFC, Dante Hall, and uh, Devin Hester's an NFC. So we'll see who. Uh, I'm sure they'll both make the Pro Bowl respectively for their uh, uh, conferences on their special teams. And then uh, nine-year vet Tony Gonzalez at 97 overall in this game at tight end. Uh, they got Eric Hicks still at the left end, and they got a rookie, rookie Tom Baha Lee. Also got Jared Allen as well now, uh, 88 overall in this game. Let's see who. Derek Johnson after his rookie season is an 89. He's got Scott Fujita as well. <coughs> Uh, Donnie Edwards, 10-year vet now, is a 91 overall, still a solid linebacker. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see who their second, secondary who they have here. Greg Wesley is a 86, and they have Jerome Woods as well. I may or may not move those guys around as well. That's the Chiefs, though. Moving on to the Colts. Peyton Manning's a 99 overall in this game. Uh, so part of the 99 club here. Edron James, a 96. And they got a rookie, Joseph Adai. Uh, still got Marvin Harrison, 10 years in. He's a 97 overall. Reggie Wayne finally is a, uh, in the 90s now with his overalls, a 92. Brandon Stokely's an 83. And now Dallas Clarkson, 87 overall, three years in. Defensively, Robert Mathis is a 90 overall. On the, on the opposite end, we got Dwight Freeney is a 98. Whew. Dangerous. Uh, they got, for the defensive tackle, they got uh, Larry, what's, oh, my R2 buttons acting up here. Larry Triplett and Raheem Brock, 85 respectively. Uh, left outside linebacker David Thornton's an 88. Gary Brackett and Rob Morris at the middle linebacker. Then Cato Jones an 88. Oops. Never really had any solid corners though defensively. Um, with these guys, I mean they're. You know, mid 80s, so that's not too, too bad, but never had like a real standout corner defensively. Um, and of course, they have Bob Sanders, is a 90 overall in this game now. So I got Mike Doss. Got a rookie, Antoine Bethay, entering the fray. All right, and then moving on to the Cowboys, we got Tony Romo with the quarterback. We got Julius Jones, Marion Barber, RIP. I guess uh, recently they came out and said he died of like a heat stroke, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, RIP to Marion Barber, man. He was he was a pretty solid running back, and he was in the lead for the for the uh, Cowboys here. Uh, and then receivers, they got of course Joey Galloway, 11 year vet now, is 89 overall. Terry Glenn, Antonio Bryant. Got. Rookie Skylar Green, 
Patrick Creighton. Jason Witten, three years in, is a 92 overall now. Defensively, Marcus Spears, 85 overall after his rookie season. But Roy Glover still playing at a high level, 10 years in, is a 91 overall in this game. Oh, I got a rookie, Javon Parker, okay. And Al Singleton. Is that Greg Ellis? Yeah, it is, yeah. Movement to outside linebacker. The general, Bob Carpenter's in this game. For those of you guys who are fans of the Pat McAfee show, Pat has had a Bob Carpenter on his show recently a couple times now. They call him the general, Ohio State legend. Speaking of Ohio State legend, I think uh, I think A.J. Hawk is in this game too uh, for the Packers as well. So another Ohio State legend as well. Uh, DeMarcus Ware. After his rookie season, 86 overall. Our corners consist of Terrence Newman. He's 90 overall in this game. Got Roy Williams, a solid 94 in this game. Four years in, so that's good. Dolphins. Got, still got Jay Fiddler. Uh, let's see, Ronnie Brown. Uh, here's Lee Suggs, yeah. Our former Brown. Um, but yeah, they got both of those guys over here, along with Travis Miner and Sammy Morse. Uh, receivers. Got Chris Chambers, a 91 overall, still solid receiver. Got a rookie, Derek Hagan. Wes Welker now is a 76. This is not Michael Vick. M. Vick right here is our rookie, Marcus Vick. Not to get confused with Michael Vick. Randy McMichael, tight ends, and 92 overall, four years in the league now. Matt Roth, Jason Taylor still playing at an elite level, 96 overall, nine years in the league now. Got Bonnie Holiday and Keith Trailer. Middle linebacker still Zach Thomas, solid 95 overall, 10 years in the league now. And they got uh, Channing Crowder. Uh, again, for those of you guys who are fans of Pat, the Pat McAfee show, uh, he had Channing Crowder on, uh, Channing Crowder on there, uh, I think like a month or two ago. And he told a story about how he played with uh, Zach Thomas and Jason Taylor and Jeremiah Bell in his defense. And uh, he told a story about how he pissed on himself because uh, he would drink a lot of like energy drinks and like he would take a knee. Uh, during like timeouts and he would like piss down his leg. I thought it was funny. If you have, like I said, if you guys are fans of the Pat McAfee show, watch Channing's interview. It was really great. It was funny. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, moving on to their secondary here. Got Patrick Sertain and Sam Madison. Still two solid corners. Eight and nine years in the league. 93 and 91 overalls respectively. And as I was saying, they do have Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah Bell, 75 overall in this game. Moving on to the Eagles. So Donovan McNabb is a 94 overall in this game. Brian Westbrook's an 89, so on the cusp of being a 90. Reggie Brown, after his rookie years in 83, still got Todd Pinkston, uh, Greg Lewis, J a rookie Jason Avant, Freddie Mitchell, a rookie Hank Basket, and James Thrash. LJ Smith at 87, a tight end there. Kevin Carter still playing at elite levels in 89, 11 years in the league now. Trent Cole after his rookie season is an 83. At the right end, Corey Simon is a 91. Darwin Walker is an 88 now. For the defensive tackles, Jeremiah Trotter is a 93. Middle linebacker there. Sean Barber kind of giving us the people's eyebrow here. Uh, 86, <laughs> 86 overall. <clears throat> <clears throat> Moving on to their secondary, they got Sheldon Brown. 
I did. Put, I know Al Harris is kind of bouncing back and forth between Philly and Green Bay. I did put him back over here in Philly where he was initially. And, of course, they have Lito Shepard is who's an 88 now. So three solid corners. Um, I might do something with Troy Vincent because he was initially a, a cornerback. So I might uh, see if I can move him to corner as well. Of course, still have Brian Dawkins at the – Free safety is a 98, should be a 99, part of that 99 club, but maybe maybe next year, I'm at an 08, we'll see. And now Michael Lewis, a, a solid, strong safety is a 92, so it's a pretty solid secondary. Running a Michael Lewis, 92, Brian Dawkins, 98, add Troy Vincent to the corners, got Sheldon Brown, Al Harrison, Little Shepard. That's a, that's a really like nasty secondary, man, for real. And you got Jeremiah Trotter in the middle. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid, uh, it's a pretty solid defense. Like I know a lot of people say that they like the tandem of like Ray Lewis and Ed Reed, but like Jeremiah Trotter and Brian Dawkins isn't that bad either. All right, moving on to the Falcons. We still got Michael Vick in the league. He's a 91 overall in this game. So got Ward Dunn. He's a 90 now. Part of the 90, 90 club. Nine years in the league now. The receivers, Michael Jenkins, Roddy White after his rookie seasons in 81. So they got Brian Finneran. Andre Crumpo and I was at 96. Pretty solid tight end. Uh, left end, Patrick Kearney's at 93 now. Brady Smith, 84. Rod Coleman's at 94. See who their linebackers here. Let's see. Keith Brookings at 95 in this game. Danzelo Hall now two years in is at 94 at corner. Um, let's see who else is. They got a rookie, Jimmy Williams. Alan Rossum's at uh, 70 now. How many years in? Eight years in. He was a good kick returner for the Falcons as well. And this is not Cam Newton. Oh, well, this is Cam Newton. Not the quarterback. Not the quarterback Cam Newton. This is a, a strong safety Cam Newton. Not to be confused with the quarterback being drafted later on by the Panthers. All right. So we're all clear. All right. All right moving on to the 49ers. Like I said, they have Alex Smith. After his rookie season, that was an 83. Jeff Garcia is still in the league. He's an 81. Um, so still have both of those quarterbacks here in San Fran. Uh, we still have uh, Kevin Barlow and Frank Gore after uh, Frank's rookie season. He's an 82, just like Kevin Barlow. I'm probably going to start Frank Gore, not going to lie. Um, receivers, uh, they got Terrell Owens is still solid, 97 overall. Brandon Lloyd's an 85. Uh, Jerry Rice at this point has retired now officially. I think after like 20 or 21 seasons in the league, he's, he's finally retired. Um, so Arnest Battle is going to be stepping into that third uh, receiver role, maybe in the slot. We've got a rookie, Brandon Williams. Uh, got Eric Johnson. Then they got a rookie, Vernon Davis, both 86 overalls. I'm probably going to start Vernon Davis, not going to lie. And then um, defensively, they have Brian Young's in 89, Andre Carter's in 87. I might move one of them over to right end. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Derek Smith's at 90 now. And Jeff Ulbrich is at 85, so solid middle linebackers. And then Julian Peterson over here, and that moved out. To the right, outside linebackers at 96, so still a stud outside linebacker. Got a rookie, Demario Minter. Let's see, I'm trying to see who else we have on this defense. Tony Parrish, a still a solid safety. He's a, a eight year vet now, 91 overall, so solid, strong safety there. Moving on to the G-Men, the Giants. 
Eli Manning's an 8-8 overall in this game. I th this may have been the year they went to go play the Patriots, I think. That 0-7, uh, 8 or, yeah. Or, yeah. I can't believe this would be for 6 7 Yeah. I think this is the year they go to play the... It was either prior or going to... And going into the... Yeah, they played the Patriots Super Bowl. I'll get to that in a second. Because, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Tiki Barber still in the league. He's a 94 overall in this game. Nine years in. Uh, Brandon Jacobs, after his rookie season, now is an 81 overall. But this, this is why. David Tyree had that over-the-shoulder, like, helmet catch. Was the Super Bowl hero. Eli Manning, I don't know how he escaped that sack. But somehow you skipped that sack, threw the ball down the field, and David Tyree was the hero as he caught the ball on his helmet. Um, and yeah, so squashed the Patriots' dreams of, I, I'm pretty sure this was the season two where the Patriots won every single game, went 16-0, and then of course won in the playoffs. And the, the Giants were the one team that, of course, Beat the Patriots. Eli Manning is the only guy uh, to beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl. Twice. Of course, Nick Foles beat him later on, but Nick Foles didn't do it twice. Eli Manning did it twice. So good for Eli. But I, I, I digress. Uh, receiving core, though, I still have Monty Toomer, Ike Hillard, got a rookie, Sonoris Moss. And Cedric Wilson came over here from San Francisco. But yeah, I think that goes down in history as like one of the best Super Bowl plays of all time, one of the best catches of all time. David Tyree. Jeremy Shockey now is a uh, 97 overall in this game. Solid, uh, uh, solid tight end. And then, of course, Michael Strahan was thinking about going to retirement. Uh, I believe, I'm not sure who it was, uh, but he decided to not retire and play one more season. And this was a season where they went into the Super Bowl and beat Tom Brady. It's tough for me as a Patriots fan. But Michael Strahan, 13-year vet now, 97 overall in this game. And Justin Tuck as well. So you got OCU Manora as well as a 91 overall, so two solid defensive ends there. <coughs> so you still got Donnie Jones at the left outside linebacker. Uh, Antonio Pierce now coming into his own. He's a 91 overall in this game. Let's see, let's see. But in the secondary, they never really had like a real strong uh, secondary. These guys were okay, but they always had good like defensive tackles and defensive ends. Moving on to Jacksonville, so got Byron Leftwich. He's a 91 overall in this game. Uh, got Fred Taylor, eight-year vet, 89 overall. Got a rookie, MJD Maurice Jones-Drew, 75 overall. Uh, I think Jimmy Smith. Retired at this point. I didn't see him in the in the game anywhere. Uh, but they still got Matt Jones after his rookie season, 84 overall. Uh, let's see. What else I got? Let's see. Reggie Williams, Chad Owens. So yeah. Receiver, receiver is not as strong without Jimmy Jimmy Smith, man. So we'll see what happens. Uh, tight end still got Kyle Brady, and they got a rookie, Mercedes Lewis. Reggie Hayward's an 89 overall in this game. See. Marcus Stroud and John Henderson still uh, high 90s and 97, 94 respectively. Mike Peterson's a 93 at the middle linebacker, and Daryl Smith he's an 85. I think eventually he becomes like a maybe it's like mid to low 90 overall. I think later on. 
Secondary consists of uh, Rasheen Mathis is a 92 overall now. Look at rookie D Webb, Nick Sorensen, and Donovan David. Oh, I'm sorry, Donovan Darius is a 93 overall in this game. Eight years in. Uh, Chad Pennington is starting to regress a little bit now. He's an 85 overall. Uh, Curtis Martin still playing at a pretty high level. He's an 89 overall in this game. Uh, they have a rookie Leon Washington. Also, uh, running back to the Jets. Still got a receiving core, Santana Moss, Laverinus Coles, Jericho Cotchery, and they got a rookie, Brad Smith, out of Missouri. I like, also, you guys can't see it behind me, but in this game, it shows like their biography. It shows their age. He's 22. At the college he went to, Missouri. It says drafted, and it says round four. So he was drafted round four in the NFL draft because then the last thing it says is acquired NFL draft. So I like, I like how it has that here in this in this game here. It's a nice little uh, feature that they have on the PS3 here. Well, I guess you guys can't see it behind me, though. But play the game, you'll see it. Uh, tight end, still got Anthony Fecht. Starting to re regress a little bit as well. Defensively, still got Sean Ellis. is a 93 overall in this game. John Abraham is also a 93 overall in this game. So, still got two stud uh, defensive ends there. Still got Dwayne Robertson is 83. It was a CJ Mosley. I think this is a, this is the same Mo CJ Mosley I'm thinking about. This is a CJ Mosley who I think eventually becomes like a like a linebacker for the Ravens. I think potentially, maybe. I need, I need a face, so we'll see. It might be. I, it might be. We'll see. Uh, linebackers here. Got Jonathan Vilma at the middle. Linebackers a 92 overall in this game. Uh, and then Aaron Glenn has regressed now. He's an 86 overall, 12 years in. Uh, David Barrett's an 87. Justin Miller, after his rookie season, is an 84. Still waiting for uh, Jim Letter to be in here, at, being here as a safety for the Jets. We'll see when he enters the league. Uh, Lions. Oh, excuse me. Quarterback is Joe, still Joey Harrington and Dan Orlovsky, who's also been a uh, guest on Pat. Uh, Pat McAfee show as well on Pat's show there. It's got Kevin Jones at running back. Uh, Roy Williams is an 8 8 overall now. Let's see. Charles Rogers, RIP, is a 76 overall in this game. Mike Williams at this rookie season is a 79. MCDC Dan Campbell is an 81 overall in this game, is a tight end. Defensively, let's see, still got Sean Rogers, a 95 overall in this game. Let's see, Boss Bailey moved over here. Got a rookie, Ernie Sims. And then let's see, yeah, secondary no, was never really that good. Okay. All right, here we go. Moving on to the Packers. These boys still have uh, Brett Favre, 15 years in, 8-8 overall in this game. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers out there's rookie season, 80 overall still. Let me really changed. So, got a Mon Green, 8-8 overall in this game. Receivers still got the core. Donald Driver, Javon Walker, Robert Ferguson, and now we got a rookie, Greg Jennings. So we got Bubba Franks as a tight end. Defensively, we got Aaron Kentman at the left end there. Kabir Bahabi Amil is an 89 overall in this game. Still got Cotitas Hunt and Colin Jenkins now at the defensive tackles. 
Brady Papinga at his rookie season is an 80 overall. Uh, Nick Barnett's an 88 overall in this game now. And like I said, Ohio State legend A.J. Hawk with his big old head uh, is an 84 overall in this game with his big, huge cranium. They began at A.J. on the Pat, on, uh, Pat show there. They began at A.J. Uh, secondary here, corners here. So I got Mike McKenzie. Um... He's the real standout corner here amongst the four of them. Uh, free safeties, Nick Collins. And still got Darren Sharper as well, 94 overall in this game. So, yeah, seeing a couple of new faces here. Here on the Panthers, still got Jake DeLone. He's at 92 overall in this game now. Uh, the Panthers do have Deshaun Foster and Stephen Davis. Ten years in, now he's an 83, so he's regressing a little bit now. Also, have the rookie D'Angelo Williams. You guys may have already seen the game, or a couple games, but specifically the game with the Panthers and the Falcons, where the Falcons act, uh, absolutely blew out um, the uh, Panthers there in the rain and that stormy we uh, weather in uh, Carolina, but. I did put Stephen Davis back on this team. He was initially, uh, looks like on the Rams in this game, but Rams already got Marshall Falk and Stephen Davis, or, yeah, they're on Stephen Davis, right? Oh, Stephen Jackson, I'm sorry. Rams had Stephen Jackson. The Pandas had Stephen Davis. I apologize. I'm over here kind of just talking over here. Uh, receivers still have Steve Smith, 97 overall. Musa Muhammad, 89. Let's see, yep. Let's start in here. Let's see here. Defensively, still got Julius Peppers in 96 overall in this game. Four years in now. Mike Rucker, solid 91. Chris Jenkins is 93. And I got Brenton Buckner as well. It's 85 overall in this game. I got Thomas Davis. He's an 85 overall in this game after his rookie season. So I got Dan Morgan's an 891 overall in this game, the middle linebacker. Uh, since the Packers uh, drafted A.J. Hawk, they moved on from Niall Diggs, and he's over here now with the Panthers, 85 overall in this game. Chris Gamble, uh, their main cornerback, he's an 87. Got a rookie, Richard Marshall. Mike Mentors at 90 overall in this game, and they got still have Deion Grant as well, 87. I might move, uh, I might move Deion Grant over here, maybe to a strong safety on the depth chart for the Panthers. We'll see. Moving on to the Patriots, uh, of course, Tom Brady's at 98 overall in this game. Let's see, I don't know if he was ever like a, a he's a 99 eventually though, part of that elite 99 club. Well, eventually. Like I said, I did have, uh, uh, what was his name, uh, Rudy Johnson over here, um, but uh, they do have uh, rookie Lawrence Maroney and still have Kevin Falk, so I put uh, Rudy Johnson back over there in Cincinnati with uh, Corey Dillon. Uh, receivers, still got De Deion Brands, David Gibbons, Troy Brown, got a rookie Chad Jackson. So still have this. Uh, still got the core receivers over here. Uh, as far as tight ends goes, got Daniel Graham, Ben Watson, Christian Fourier, and got a rookie David Thomas. So pretty solid tight ends. Defensively, still got Ty Warren, Richard Seymour, Vince Wilfork. William McGinnis and Mike Vrabel. I might put one of these guys on the right outside linebacker on the right side. Um, we'll see here. we got Teddy Bruschi, no picture here. And Roosevelt Coleman, I might I might change teams with him. I think, what was he, like a bear or something, I think, in Chicago? Yeah, I might move him back to Chicago and put either uh, either Vrabel or McGinnis on the right side. So we'll see, we'll see, but we'll see. Moving on to the secondary here, we got Ty Law still playing at elite level, 11 years in. He's a 98 overall. 
Asante Samuels on 85, Ellis Hobbs, Tyrone Poole. And then still got Eugene Wilson. He's an 89 overall in this game. And Lawyer Malloy still playing solid 10 years in. It's a 92. So still got a solid Patriots team, man. Still solid. All right, moving on to the Raiders over here in Oakland. Uh, so you got Kerry Collins at the quarterback. I uh, got my Martin Jordans and 90 overall in this game and Justin Fargus. Um, I think so, I think uh, I think Tim Brown may have retired at this point. Uh, so their receivers now are like Jerry Porter, who was an 89, Travis Taylor, Ronald Curry, to name a few. Um, defensively, let's see who we got over here. Derek Burgess, he's a 90 overall in this game. Let's see, I'm trying to see who else they have here. I think they don't have, like, they have, uh, yeah, here we go. Charles Woodson, who's an 88 now, dropped down and dropped down from his, uh, his 90s. Uh, my, you know, he was, in, he was like a 90 overall, and now he's an 88. So he's regressed a little bit. But I think, I think he goes back up to a 90 eventually in some of the newer Maddens. Uh, still got Philip Buchanan, Namdi Asimwa at the corner, so pretty solid corners. All right, moving on to the Rams, back where they were in St. Louis. Uh, they got Kurt Warner still, uh, Mark Bolger. Like I said, I may or may not put him somewhere else because I'm a Kurt Warner guy. So we'll see what happens with Mark. They also drafted Ryan Fitzpatrick as a one-year uh, pro now, but Ryan Fitz, before he became a journeyman, so he was initially a Ram, initially, when he came to the league. Like I said, they have Stephen Jackson, and they got Marshall Falk, who I think after this season retires. He's an 83-year overall in this game, 12 years in, so I'm going to enjoy playing with Marshall Falk, uh, you know, one last time before he... No, before he's no longer in the league. Moving on to the receivers, we got Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce, uh, still two solid uh, receiver duo, 97, 89 overall respectively, and of course we got Kevin Curtis. These are the tight ends here. Defensively, still got Leonard Little, who's a 94 overall in this game. Grant Wistrom on the right side there. Ryan Pickett. Still got London Fletcher, he's a 92 overall in this game. I may or may not do something with Will Witherspoon. I think he was somewhere else before he was over here. He looks like he was in Carolina, so, but I might move him to Carolina. We'll see. And maybe make him like a lead or a left or a right outside linebacker in Carolina. Because they still have Dan Morgan over there. These are their right outside linebackers. Secondary consists of Dre Bly. He's a 90 overall in this game now. Got a rookie, Ty Hill. Jeremetrius Butler. So they couldn't decide when they call him Jeremiah or Demetrius. We're going to call him Jeme Jeremetrius. I think it's pretty cool, actually. It's different. OJ Atadway, one year in the league now. He's 80 overall. It's like Adam Archuleta. He's an 89 overall in this game. So, yeah, definitely going to enjoy playing with uh, Marshall Falk one last time before uh, he retires. All right, I'm moving on to the Ravens here. I know that I go back and forth with Trent Dilfer and Kyle Baller, but I'm probably going to have Trent Dilfer start. Looks like he's an 81 compared to Kyle's 80, uh, 79. They have Billy Volk as well, but I mean, I really have been using him uh, during this time, so I'm either going to use Trent or Kyle, most likely Trent, though. Uh, so I got Jamal Lewis. He's an 89 overall in this game now. Receivers, Mark Clayton, one uh, after his rookie season now, 85 overall in this game. 
I know they initially had uh, Brandon Stokely, but I put him over with the uh, the Colts. I might move him back over here once they get some more receivers. Uh, of course, they got Todd Heap, 95 overall in this game. Pretty stud uh, tight end there. Let's see, defensively, got Terrell Suggs at the right end before he became like the outside linebacker. Uh, tackles are uh, Kelly Gregg and Haloti Nada. Got a rookie Haloti Nada in this game. Oh, yeah. Dallas Thomas, 8 and 9 overall in this game. Ray Lewis is a 98. 10 year vet and still got Peter Bullwear. He's an 85 overall overall in this game. This is Bart Scott. Yeah, they got Bart Scott. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know they had Bart Scott. Oh, he's a Raven the entire time. I'll take that. All right. Secondary consists of Chris McAllister. He's a 96 overall in this game now. Gary Baxter. Got a rookie, David Pittman. Got a rookie, Derek Martin, as well. Of course, Ed Rees, a 99 over on this game, part of that Elite 99 club. And I got a rookie, Dewan Landry, in this game. So there we go. That's the Ravens. Moving on to the Redskins. So we got Mark Brunel. He looks like he uh, his overall got a little better since Madden 06. Uh, he's an 87 overall in this game, and still got Jason Campbell, also who's a 77 in this game after his rookie season. Clinton Portis, a 94 overall in this game. Shout out to Rock Cartwright, my fellow Cartwright. Uh, receivers here. Um, yeah. Dang, rookie pro is a 16 year vet. Jeez, oh man, bro. I didn't know he was in the league that long. Good gracious. Chris Cooley at tight end. 91 overall in this game. And then defensively. Got Cornelius Griffin there in the middle of the line. 91 overall in this game. Marcus Washington to 93 along with LeVar Arrington who's also a 90. So maybe I'll put one of them on the right outside linebacker there. Uh, see, And then secondary here, got Champ Bailey, 99 overall in this game. Fred Smoots at 87. Carlos Rogers at this rookie season at 83 overall in this game. Uh, let's see here. Sean Taylor, RIP, is an 80, uh, wow, not 80. 95 overall in this game. All right. So that's the Redskins. Moving on to the Saints. Still got Aaron Brooks. Reggie Bush. He's an 8-8 overall in this game, along with his counterpart, Deuce McAllister. is an 8-8 as well. So they got Joe Horn. He's a 90 in this game. Dante Stallworth. Devery Henderson. Michael Lewis. Got a rookie Lance Moore and a rookie Marcus Colston as well. Let's see. Defensively, Charles Grant's a 91 overall in this game. Then Will Smith's a 90. And they, and they still got Darren Howard as well. And I got a rookie Rob Ninkovich. I might put Darren Howard maybe as a, maybe a defensive tackle, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Besides, like, their defensive line and their secondary is okay. So, we got Sammy Knight, nine-year vet, 87 overall in this game now. All right. Seahawks. Okay, here we go. All right, we got Matt Hasselbeck's 93 overall in this game. And our cover boy, Sean Alexander. He's a 98 overall in this game. One away from being part of that elite 99 club. That's all right. He certainly plays like it in this game, though. All right, receivers got Daryl Jackson, Corin Robinson, Bobby Ingram. So still have our receiving core. So we got Jeremy Stevens and Atula Mealy at their tight ends. Uh, defensively, 
Uh, let's see here. So we got Antonio Conklin there. 79 overall. He's regressed a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Linebackers. Got Lofa Tatupu after his rookie season. He's an 8-8 overall in this game. Secondary is strong, man. You got Ken Lucas at 94. Sean Springs at 92. Marcus Trufant is at 90. Those are some pretty solid corners. Like the first three are all 90s. Jeez. And we got Michael Bullwear is an 88, and the Reggie Tongue, 10 years in now, 81 overall. I wonder if Michael Bullwear is related to Peter. I have to look that up. If you guys know, if they are, let, let me know in the comments. Let me know. All right, moving on to the Steelers. Uh, we got Big Ben, who's a 92 overall in this game. Uh, Jerome Bettis retired. After Madden 06, so now we have Willie Parker and Deuce Staley at our uh, running back tandem. Our receivers got Scott Hines Ward, who's a 94, Pesco Burris, who's a 90, Antoine Rendell, who's an 85. San we got a rookie, Santonio San Holmes, on the scene here. Got Nate Washington as well, who's a uh, one year vet now. All right, just one year in the league. He's not really one year vet, but one year into the league now. He's a 74 overall after his rookie season. You got uh, Heath Miller, excuse me, after his rookie season. He's an 87 overall in this game. Defensively, still got Aaron Smith, uh, Brett Kiesel. You got Casey Hampton. Chris, they got a pretty solid defensive lineman there. Clark Higgins at 90 overall in this game. So you got two solid uh, middle linebackers, James Sperrier and Larry Foote, 94 and 85 overall, respectively. Joey Porter, Kendrell Bell, and James Harrison. Three solid outside linebackers. Jeez. Secondary, got the Shea Townsend, Ike Taylor, Chad Scott, Brian McFadden, and Ricardo Kolkoff, and Ryan Clark, and Troy Paul Mung, who's a 98 overall, one, one shy away from that elite 99 overall in this game. But he certainly plays like it, though, for sure. All right, moving on to the Texans, got David Carr. So you got Dominique Davis here. He's an 89 overall. Andre Johnson is an 88 overall in this game. Corey Bradford, Jabbar Gaffney. Got a rookie Owen Daniels at tight end. So we got Gary Walker there. Got a rookie Mario Williams. Before there was JJ uh, Watt, there was Mario Williams, just so everybody knows. Like, Mario Williams was a pretty solid defensive end as well. Texans have had two of them. In him and J.J. Watt. Jimmy Sharper, nine years in now, is a 91 overall in this game at the left outside linebacker. Got a rookie, D'Amico Ryans, before it became a defensive coach. I think he's a linebacker's coach in real life. Uh, secondary here, we got Dante Robinson, solid, 89 overall in this game. That was really it though, as far as their uh, secondary goes. Alright, here we go, Titans. Just got Steve McNair, RIP, and they drafted Steve, oh, I'm sorry, drafted Vince Young uh, in the first round there. 82 overall in this game. Uh, Eddie George retired. Um, I think it may have been either Madden or Six. I think because I think he's still in Madden or Six, but he is retired at this point. So we got Chris Brown and we got a rookie, Lendale White. wasn't wasn't He wasn't too too bad uh, for the Titans, but they would later go on and get Chris Johnson, CJ Two K later on. But it's not that's not until a few Maddens from now. Uh, receiving. 
You got Derek Mason, he's a 90 overall. Drew Bennett, uh, Justin McCarrion's, Tyrone Calico, Calico. I might be saying his name wrong. I have no idea, but I say Calico. Could be Calico. I don't know. I'm not sure. You got Aaron Kinney, he's a solid 89. Ben Trout or Troop, I'm not sure how to say his name. And they got a uh, Bo Skype after his rookie season, a 75 overall in this game. Defensively, we got Javon Kerr still. He's a 93 overall in this game. We got Travis LeBoy and Antoine Odom opposite him. Albert Hainsworth, 88 overall in this game. Keith Bullock is a 95 over on this game. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Secondary, you got Samari Rose, a 90 overall in this game. Andre Dyson. You got P Adam Pacman Jones after his rookie season is eight, uh, 81 overall in this game. Uh, Andre Wolfolk. And then let's see who's. Okay. So I got Tank Williams, 86 overall in this game. And last, but certainly not least, the Minnesota Vikings. Still got Dante Culpepper's at 92 overall in this game. Got ourselves a rookie, Tavares Jackson. Well, I think he passed away recently as well, too, I think. Ah, I think about it. I right, got Chester Taylor. And still got Michael Bennett. Randy Moss, eight years in. He's still at 97 overall in this game. Nate Burleson is 87. And then let's see tight ends here. Jermaine Wiggins is a 90 overall in this game. And we got Jim Klein Saucer. I think that's how you say his name. He's an 88 overall in this game. Not too, too bad. Defensively, yeah, Kevin Williams is a 92 overall in this game. Chris Hoban, he's an 86. Dropped down from his 90 overall from. Uh, previously, uh, let's see, linebackers, uh, Chad Greenway, a rookie Chad Greenway, DJ Henderson, and uh, let's see, a secondary, not much to speak up in the secondary, but that's all right. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna that's going to do it uh, for uh, this edition of uh, Madden of Seven. Hope you guys enjoyed the roster breakdown. Uh, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Uh, be a friend. Tell a friend. Uh, make sure you share the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos and content. Uh, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I'll see you all again soon in the next video. Until then, blessings to you all, and God bless. I'm out. Peace.